Histone deacetylase inhibitors are an emerging class of therapeutics with potential as anti-cancer drugs. The rationale for developing HDAC inhibitors as anti-cancer agents arose from the understanding that in addition to genetic mutations, epigenetic changes such as dysregulation of HDAC enzymes can alter phenotype and gene expression. There are 18 known mammalian HDAC enzymes, 11 of which are altered due to HDAC inhibitors. These are known as the classical HDAC enzymes and are subdivided into four classes based on their homology and sequence identity to yeast. The classical HDAC enzymes are metal dependent as they contain zinc catalytic binding domains and differ in their localization and functions within the cell. The HDAC enzymes act to govern chromatin structure along with the opposing actions of HATS, histone acetyltransferases. The transfer of the acetyl moiety of the acetyl CoA by HATS results in the acetylation of the epsilon amino tails of lysine residues in histones. This neutralizes the positive charge of the histone tails and reduces the affinity of histones for the negatively charged DNA backbone, thereby loosening the structure of the chromatin. This enables the trans the transcriptional machinery to access the DNA and enhances gene transcription. Conversely, HDACs remove the acetyl group from the histone tails, reversing the effects of HATS and altering transcription. Although HDACs cause the deacetylation of histones, phylogenetic studies indicate that histones are not the primary substrates for HDACs. In fact, HATS and HDACs can also regulate gene expression indirectly by mediating the post-translational acetylation and deacetylation of various non-histone protein substrates. HDACs have more than 50 non-histone protein substrates such as DNA binding proteins, transcription factors, signal transaction molecules, DNA repair molecules and chaperone proteins. The post-translational modification of these non-histone proteins can affect many vital regulatory processes including gene expression, mRNA stability, protein activity and protein stability. HDAC inhibitors inhibit the actions of the HDAC enzymes to result in the hyperacetylated status of the chromatin structure. The family of HDAC inhibitors is large and diverse. It includes a range of naturally occurring and synthetic based compounds that differ in terms of structure, function and specificity. HDAC inhibitors have multiple cell type specific effects in vitro and in vivo, such as growth arrest, cell differentiation and apoptosis in malignant cells. HDAC inhibitors have the potential to be used as monotherapies or in combination with other anti-cancer therapies. Currently, there are two HDAC inhibitors that have received approval from the US Food and Drug Administration for the treatment of cutaneous T-cell lymphoma, varinostat and depsipeptide. This review will discuss the use of HDAC inhibitors as multi-targeted therapies for malignancies. Further, we outline the pharmacology and mechanisms of action of HDAC inhibitors while discussing the safety and efficacy of these compounds in clinical studies to date. I'm Catherine Riveris from the Epidemic Medicine Laboratory at the Baker IDI Heart and Diabetes Institute. Thank you for watching.